Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you some records that I got from a perfect vinyl haul. Just a wonderful record shopping day. My husband and I went to Bowling Green, Kentucky, went to a couple of stores there, and everything I got were records that I really wanted. They were all in really good condition and play beautifully. Just a perfect record haul. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this wonderful record. I'm so happy. This is what I would call an upgrade copy. Uh, it is David Bowie's Space Oddity. I had this record, or I, I have this record. It was in really raggedy condition. This one is better, just a little touch of ring wear at the bottom, but it's in really, really nice shape. This is a reissue copy from an Indianapolis pressing plant. It still has its inner sleeve in gorgeous shape. No rips or tears in this one. And it has the original poster in beautiful shape. The one I had before had been hung on a wall and it was in really sad condition. Still cool to have, of course. But this one is in beautiful condition. Um, so I love having the poster. I love having a better copy of this record. And here is the vinyl. RCA Dynaflex. Really beautiful. Gave, uh, I came home and gave all of these records a cleaning. I've been using a new cleaning product and I'm really happy with it so far. Uh, I might make a video here in the future discussing it. But anyway, so happy to have that upgrade of Space Oddity. And the funny thing is about this, I was at Mellow Mats a couple of years ago on Record Store Day, and I bought a few records, had spent enough money, but I saw this on the wall, and I was so tempted to pick it up, but because I had already bought a lot of records that day, I didn't pick it up, and it was one of those, you know, I thought about a lot. I thought sh I should have picked that up. So it's pretty amazing that I got another chance at that same record store. I also picked up at Mellow Mats this beautiful copy of Aladdin Sane. I was needing this for the collection. I love this album. Uh, I, I'm getting to a point where I don't really know what my favorite David Bowie album is. I always thought it was Ziggy Stardust. Pinups is really cool though. Uh, Station to Station. This is way up there as well. I really love this album. This is in really clean shape. This is again a reissue, but I don't mind. These sound very good. I still like having the early pressings of this. Uh, this is up on Dynaflex again. I believe this is a 1980 pressing. I could be wrong about that, but uh, I believe that's what I've got, but it's just in super clean condition. Both of those records were affordable and I'm so excited to have them. And I also picked up a little jazz while I was there. This is Red in Bluesville. I'm a huge Red Garland fan. Anytime I find a great piano jazz record, I'm going to pick it up. And now according to Discogs, this says it's from an unknown year, but I would guess it's an 80s pressing. It's an OJC original jazz classics version because it has the OJC here in the corner but uh, the album covers in beautiful shape and so is the record it plays so beautifully and sounds so clean they look great and um, maybe someone who is a jazz fan that uh, is a little bit of an expert can tell what year this was out based on that label Love having another Red Garland record in my collection. I also picked up Ahmad Jamal's Tranquility. Uh, this one is on the ABC label. I really like it. Uh, it's a little bit of a later. I think this came out in 1968 and I have an original of it. Uh, there's songs on here like I Say a Little Prayer and The Look of Love. Uh, but it's just overall a really beautiful, plays great sounds great. I love Ahmad Jamal and I don't mind hearing like a Beatles tune on beautiful piano or classic songs like that. I think they're great. I'd love to find more Ahmad Jamal. I'm looking for a clean version of At the Penthouse. That one's a tough one to get. Uh, it's on again like I said the ABC 
black label plays like a dream it's so good and i also got horse silver the trio sides and this just it plays a lot of really great horse silver songs from different albums such as horoscope uh, i really like the two lps they're super clean it is a gatefold you know and these are very very affordable i paid 12 dollars for this got two beautiful lps uh, and they even came in someone when they guess they traded it in had them in these sleeves that i could keep them in cleaned up beautifully not a flaw on them again i love these jazz pianists and i got some great ones at mellow mats and to finish my trip to mellow mats i also found hall and oats this is let me pull this out h2o one of the grossest album covers uh the back of it anyway i've ever seen yuck why what were they thinking <laughs> but uh, i really like this and i didn't want to spend a lot for it it was only four dollars and it was in clean condition so i picked it up I bought it because I have their greatest hits compilation. That's probably nearly enough for me, but it lacked the song Family Man, and I really like that song. Also, Man Eater and One on One is on here. So this was one of their bigger albums. Again, that gross back uh, cover, but uh, this was a clean copy, and I'm super excited to get it for only $4. So then I went to uh, a store called Melodies and Memories, and I found something very cool there, I immediately noticed on their wall. And last week I made a Led Zeppelin video talking about how I'm wanting some better pressings. And one in particular that I think is rough that I had was a Japanese pressing of Houses of the Holy. I feel like on Robert Plant's voice, it's really shrill and brittle sounding. Just kind of been looking for something a little bit better. And they had this on their wall along with some other led zeppelin records that uh, didn't appeal to me as much as this one and what really stood out to me was the beautiful condition of this record this is uh, and it took me a long time to figure out it was easy to figure out this was a 1977 version but the dead wax really looks like chicken scratch i mean i don't know how you can see uh, this is like a never played record. It is truly an opened mint, mint minus. It's perfect. Like I said, the chicken scratch in the dead wax was a bit of a mystery, but I think I figured out that this was a specialty pressing and George Piros mastered it. Um, it sounds really good. It beats that Japanese pressing. No quarter on here was stunning uh, dire maker my husband and i were both kind of sitting there we both just kind of shook our heads because it just really exploded and sounded great um, it's it's a very enjoyable listen uh, i love most of the songs on this album and uh, this is a great pressing so now i feel like i have a very solid copy of houses of the holy I paid 35 dollars for it and like I said, it's just an unbelievable condition. So that was, that. it's hard to say because I was so excited about all of my finds. That one might have been the one that really, really got me excited. And finally, also at Melodies and Memories, I got a bargain. Uh, I found Grace Under Pressure by Rush. It's a record I've been wanting, but usually um, they either want too much for it uh, in subpar condition. This particular copy is one of the newer releases. It's on 200 gram, and they had it priced at uh, here $19.99. I paid $19.99. Uh, it's pressed at QRP. It's the 200 uh, gram audiophile version. Uh, it when I scanned it in to Discogs, it's the 2015 release. I'm so, so happy to have this in the collection now. It feels very heavy. It's definitely the 200 gram version. Um, so I'll just hold it up like this. Uh, you know, I've been getting some of those uh, rush, rush repressings and I have some originals. I hadn't 
I didn't have anything, um, I didn't have grace under pressure before uh, either way. So, and to get it for $19.99 was a great price and I was so excited about that. So that is my perfect record haul. Uh, I also wanna show a couple of records that were sent to me from a friend here in the vinyl community, Felipe from the Jazz Bums. The Jazz Bums is a channel, I will leave a link below. Whether you are a jazz expert or you're just kind of like me figuring jazz out new, they're great to watch. They come on every Friday night. They put on uh, other videos here and there as well. They're really nice guys. They know their stuff, uh, but they don't talk over you. So if you're, you know, not an expert, you're going to be able to follow along with them. And they talk about the new releases. They talk about the artists they love. And they just talk about great jazz music. Felipe's one of those jazz bums. And he reached out to me um, a little while back. I had made a video talking about my daughter. She had a health scare. Um, she's now in medical school. He related to my story. And he wanted to send a couple of records. He's from Brazil. And he wanted to send a couple of Brazilian records my way. And I was delighted with them. They were really good. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce them, but I will show you the records. So you can see if you can read them. Maybe if you're from another country and are interested. Uh, this is a wonderful record he said that he enjoyed while he was young. It's power pop. It's reggae. It's excellent. You know, um, yes, they sing in a different language, but I have... German uh, progressive rock band albums that I love. They speak in another language. It doesn't matter. Uh, the music's so good. And that's the same with this. Here's the inner sleeve for it. And you wouldn't even want me to try to attempt to say these. So hopefully you can see them. Hopefully you can read that off the label. That was a great one. And then, um, so I enjoyed that power pop reggae sound. And then he gave me a jazz record, Zimbo Trio. This is one of the most beautiful records I've ever listened to in my life. It got me on the first note. I was stunned. It's, it's so good. And I looked up on YouTube. There's only one song on YouTube. I am going to leave a link to that as well as the jazz bums. You've got to just do yourself or me a favor. Click on it. It's going to, it's a vinyl copy of this album. So there's surface noise more so than the copy he sent me. But it will give you a feel for what this album is like. And that is the only song I could find on YouTube. If I find something better, I will leave a link to that. But if you would click on that, I will leave it in the information below. This is beautiful piano playing, uh, a, just a breathtaking album. And I am so happy to have this in the collection. I would have never discovered these two albums. I would have never known they existed. So thank you so much to Felipe from the Jazz Bums. And again, what a beautiful and fun trip I had. Let me know what you think of the Davy Bowie records, my Led Zeppelin find, my jazz records. Um, let me know if you've had one of those perfect days where you found just anything and everything you had been looking for uh, in beautiful condition. I really love to hear your stories. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.